I'm going to walk you through downloading the OneTalk app on your desktop or your laptop. So from the search engine of your choice, type in OneTalk download or desktop. It is going to pull up a Verizon website, OneTalk installer. You are going to scroll down to download the OneTalk installer. And then, depending on what you have, if it's an Apple device or a Mac device, you're going to scroll down and find once you're here, it's a Windows download or a Mac download. I'm a Mac user, so I would click Mac download. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to go through this step. But when you get into the app, there's a couple things you're going to have to enter. You're going to enter your OneTalk phone number. That is not your cell phone number. It is your OneTalk. If you're a desk phone user, it's your desk phone number. And if you're an app only user, it's a number given to you from your Verizon representative or your company administrator. Once you enter that phone number, it's going to send you an email that is going to have a six digit pin code. Once you enter the phone number and the six digit pin code, this is what your app is going to look like once you're in it. Now on the sidebar, you can see several different options. You can see messages, phone calls, contact book, voicemail, dial pad, um, so on and so forth. If you want to send a text message, you simply enter the phone number up top. And then on the bottom, you enter the text. Over here, you would simply send the message, and now that message has been sent. If you want to make a phone call, as you can see, I just received that message. If you want to make a phone call, you'd click the phone call or the, the dialer. Push this button to pull up the keypad, and then you know, dial just like you're dialing on a desk phone. Hit send. You can see it is going to come through on my cell phone. There it is. Pick it up. And now I'm connected on my phone. If you want to transfer a call using the app, we'll call in using this device. Okay. I'm going to answer it on my computer. And then I'm going to push the transfer button right here. You'd enter any phone number you'd like to send it to. Transfer. You are going to want to direct transfer. And that is how you transfer a phone call.